When the AC-72s of the 34th America's Cup first lifted off on their foils, they attained great speeds of more than 50 miles per hour, or close to three times faster than the wind, which few of us could ever have imagined. In fact, these boats turned out to be much faster than even the designers expected. However, these great speeds also brought great danger, which first came to light when Oracle Team USA capsized their AC-72 during a practice session in San Francisco Bay after passing through the so-called death zone. But what exactly is the death zone? That's exactly what we're going to find out in this video. Modern sailing boats can sail in most directions relative to the wind, except straight up wind, with the fastest point of sail being on a beam reach where the wind is perpendicular to the direction of travel or sailing across the wind. Race organizers know that sailing back and forth on a beam reach would just get boring for everybody, so they design courses with upwind and downwind legs instead, because it's more challenging for the boats and their crew. Boats can't sail straight upwind, but they can sail upwind at around 45 degrees to the true wind, so they tack back and forth in a zigzag pattern to get upwind. But going downwind, they also jibe in a zigzag pattern because it's faster than going dead downwind, as they are still sailing across the wind. AC-72 crews put the boat together on shore with the right size wing for the forecast conditions to optimize efficiency for upwind and downwind sailing. But there are two points on the course where the boat has to pass through a beam reach at the upwind and downwind turning marks. This is the most powerful point of sail, so the boat has a tendency to accelerate rapidly out of control, earning the name Death Zone by popular media. Many fast multi-hulls must deal with the Death Zone, but most have soft sails, so they can easily twist off the top of the mainsail to depower it, which also moves the power down lower on the sail and makes it easier to pass through the death zone with the lower part of the sail still driving the boat forward. But the AC-72s have rigid wings, so you can't twist off the top, and the whole wing needs to be eased to depower it. And if you depower too much, you'll fall off the foils, which is also slow and dangerous. Oracle Team USA had been practicing on San Francisco Bay in a building breeze, so they were on the verge of being overpowered even before they entered the death zone as they attempted to switch from upwind to downwind sailing. They were hit by a gust in the middle of the death zone. The boat accelerated rapidly and they were unable to depower the sails fast enough or turn out of the death zone because their rudder came out of the water, so they lost control and capsized. Thankfully, nobody was hurt. However, it did set the team back several weeks and cost a few million dollars to repair the boat. Somehow, they launched the comeback of the century and managed to win the 34th America's Cup. Leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and watch this next video.